All right, I'm on this job here today. The plan is to get this RV moved. So it hasn't run in over six years or so. And we're trying to start it, but... Uh, doesn't want to start. If we get, if we just get it started, it will. Oh, it's this is dangerous. Too. Is it <laughs> this is so dangerous. Oh, no, it's not doing it. It's too dangerous. Well, the starter flew safer. It's a little bit because, yeah. Try that. Hold the fuck out. With or without to choke? It, whatever works. So. This will definitely run. It was getting gas. Mm -hmm. Does anything come out of that line or no? It's, it's, you push it back on. Look, I got, um, now this is the fuel line from the tank here. Yeah. So let's see if it pumps any fuel or whatever. When right. we're, we're trying to. You want to do it? Yes, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, turn it over a little bit. I just want to see. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so this, just... would, this would run if this had Alright, let's trace it back and see what we can find. Alright. No, this, there's nothing coming out of that. Now, do you think this needs. Pr I have an auxiliary fuel tank. That we could just bring in here with us. Yeah, you want to just try that? That's what I was thinking. We're going to tie it here and just stick it over stick there. It. So I mean, I don't know if it needs pressure to make this Theoretically, run. it needs like two or three pounds of pressure. But if the tank is... <laughs> this and might be under pressure is what I'm thinking, right? Or no? Well, yeah, the whole system would be if there's a fuel pump in the tank that's not working. Or not enough fuel in the tank. We put quite a bit in so far, and the, the gauge shows. Does the gauge move at all, or? <laughs> See how it goes up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it probably needs a fuel pump. Is there any fuses? Uh, turn signal and hazards. There's nothing here for the fuel pump. There might be another another set of fuses. Hey, Levi. These gas cans are pretty good. Yeah, these are, they, these are probably the best ones on the market right now. Some of, review, I review. Yeah, some of, some of them are criminal. They don't work at all. No, I had one like the one one you described. Yeah. I just ripped the top right off. Yeah, they don't work. That was an EPA thing, and they just those gas cans don't work. See, this may need a fuel pump. You know, we could have bought one of those cheap ones and just. Why we're in? That that that'd probably do it. Right, this, this, that, if if this, this doesn't start, I think we'll get a little put it right That in should there, right? be our goal. Right. Most of it.
we're good or not? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two options. One, we could bypass this thing, because that might be stopping it, whatever that is. Okay. Or we could get it. Go to the it doesn't auto look like it has a manual fuel pump, does it? Or go to the auto parts store and get a fuel pump. And get a fuel pump. I think a fuel pump makes sense. This is our unit. So we didn't bring the wires with I know, I bought some stuff here. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you trim something up? Let's try to take it over to here so the fuse blocks up. All right, so we got this hooked up. We're going to try to pump from the tank and see what happens. I mean, it's pumping. I mean, well, it's. Oh, so air's coming out? Well, don't, don't block it. No, this is going to run once we do this. Start it. Huh? Let's start okay, it. You want to try it? Yeah, let's get around. Go over here. I'll stand right here. My hand. Uh, we're almost ready. Sounds good. I'm just worried about the heat from the engine. Hitting that fuel line or anything? That's the way you need to zip tie fuel, right? Driving the RV home. So it feels pretty good. It's got brakes. <laughs> brakes are nice. So there's my fuel tank right there. I got like three gallons in it and I gotta go 10 miles. Hopefully it's enough. This thing's pretty cool. It's like driving a little house. The guy paid 500 bucks for this thing because it wouldn't run. But that's uh, all it apparently took right there. Alright, we just ran out of gas. Luckily, I was able to stop in a safe spot. But I'm, I'm, I'm more than halfway there, so if I fill this up, I'll make it. Uh, we probably got to jump this again. Okay. So, pull my truck up here. Let me reverse it. It just starts first, but... Yeah, you gotta hook it up. Are they on good? Wiggle them. 
We don't have the one battery won't start it in the truck. Black to red, right? Why well, you keep saying that? No, black to black. Like that, yeah? Yeah. You said black to red. Oh, okay. Levi, move over. Move over, buddy. Come on, move over. We're not getting out. We're not getting out. We're going for a ride. Right, let's see. This thing should start. <laughs> Alright, so I just broke down again, and I threw a battery in it, and the thing's running so much better now. Oh, this thing's got some power now. Perfect. That's where I had to go, right? Perfect. Nice. All right, so I'm back here at the site where I built that bridge and put that driveway in and cleared this area for the for a house. So, all right, so the RV is parked where it's supposed to be. So that's pretty cool, especially for 500 bucks. That thing's running nice now too. I would just hook the gas tank up properly so it actually works right, so it's not in the passenger seat. That wouldn't be too hard to do. All right, so I should be uh, starting working here again pretty soon too. The guy wants to do a foundation over in that area for a garage.